Hello planet Earth. We are in uh, Gothenburg, Sweden. My name is Matt. I've been up all night sniffing glue and pretending to read. Rare fact about me is I can't sleep unless I'm sweating. Today we got three shows in one, uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We're going to a sauna uh, with you guys to uh, explore our inner pervert. And uh, then we're coming back here, we're gonna play some music and uh, take a break, have some beers, play some music, and then play some music. Welcome aboard. The grips of my gun are covered in blood. The stanton is back on the sun. They will see us where judgment can be Compared to a life on the run Midway through a gruelling European tour with their mariachi band, the Bronx leave Hamburg in search of some seaside spiritual cleansing. Later on, they play a double headline show in Gothenburg, a sold-out party so popular, people even ditch their weddings to attend. Uh, tour has been amazing. Uh, we're, we're on kind of a cannonball run, uh, so to speak. This is our 20th show in 20 days. We got about 30 shows in 30 days before we get home, and uh, everything's cool. Ready? Born ready. And slightly retarded. <laughs> <laughs> be the only one thinking this, but I'm getting kind of a weird sexual vibe from this place. This feels horny. Tonight's gonna be chaos. We haven't been to Gothenburg in a really long time, and the last show we played here, there was glass flying everywhere, and it was fucking awesome. So tonight's gonna be even better. It's gonna be a bloodbath, and uh, I'm excited that we're getting in this little zen moment right here, because, spiritual uh, cleansing. yeah, spiritual cleansing. Calm before the storm. Yeah. Oh man, it's hot. <laughs> Holy shit. It's funny because we've been compiling photos from like the past 10 years and just looking back on how ridiculous it used yeah. to be is so hilarious. We were kids. Yeah. I mean, we still are, but yeah. we were babies. You know, just to look back on those old photos and remember how completely retarded we were. Um, still are. Yeah. We made some bad decisions. Yeah. Great stories, though. I think the first time we were over here, we had a Welsh driver. Yeah, Russ was Russ. Russ. Russ used to be insane. That is the guy who drove us. He used to take ecstasy and he'd be doing blow every night. He'd wake up every morning throwing up. This, this dude bit into a block of cheese and his tooth came out. <laughs> oh, hey. oh my god! There was this band called the Roulettes, and at, like at, after every song, they, they would, the singer would sing too, and they'd stop. We'd be like, boom, and the singer would be like, all right, that was a fun one. And they had this bass player dude, this dude Theo. He was kind of the asshole of the group. He was like, he wanted to be Didi Ramon so bad. He would just get wasted drunk, and he would fucking walk around and try to fuck chicks all night. And uh, one day he showed up to a club. And we're like, we're like, hey, you know, how was your night last night? He goes, oh, it was amazing. I have sperm all over my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a, yeah, he was a machine when it came to trying to pick up women. I can't go out with you. I have to go to work. You will not go to work. You'll come home with me and we will fuck all night long. <laughs> it was fucking amazing. Wonder what he's doing now. He's somewhere with sperm on his shirt. I guarantee it. We're 
asked to do a TV show in Los Angeles. The whole deal with the show is that like, they just have artists come in and do unplugged stuff, you know, which Bronx unplugged sounds uh, not, not very good. So uh, we decided that we were going to do a mariachi version of one of the songs off of our second record called Dirty Beads. It's a, a working class style of music, you know, started in, in Mexico and Jalisco. It's very passionate music. Had to explain what the world wants to know. I don't know where I should be. There's a kind of a cool renaissance happening in music right now where people are actually uh, getting over their cynicism and they're excited to hear new music and new ideas and people trying something different. So when you take a style of music that people haven't really heard before to a place, um, you know, there's a chance it might actually go well. <laughs> It's the witching hour. Coming up on our first Bronx show in about five months. Got a little buzz going, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really fucking excited to play. Uh, Swedes are a drunken mess out there. It's awesome, it's gonna be a chaotic show. Thank you guys for being with us. I'm sure we'll see you after the show, but just in case I die out there tonight, it's been a pleasure and a privilege and an honor. What's up, Gothenburg? It's been a long, it's been a long fucking time since we got to plug in and play. And it's been a long time since I've got to say we are the Bronx and we are from Los Angeles. Let's go! Every now and then we do what we're doing tonight uh, here in Sweden, which is uh, uh, playing both bands. Um, it, it's something that we really love doing. Uh, it's something that the energy in the room, when you do something like that, people, uh, people tend to be more involved in the show and in the music because they know it's something special and unique. And outside of that, it's a, it's, it's a pretty amazing charge, too, musically. It's really fun to do, and we haven't done it in like five months or something like that. I think tonight's more if anything, just about us being excited to play Bronx again. You know, it might not be the tightest show, but it's going to be fucking awesome. Take me to the spirit world! 